When you're making a movie, everything is so temporary. The film survives, but the sets and the costumes and the props that you make, they, they all just get thrown away. And so I'm delighted that Hobbiton has managed to survive, and I'm really pleased that you're taking the time to visit it, and I hope that you enjoy yourself. It's been years ago that we were flying around in a helicopter and found the Alexander Farm from the air, and it, uh, for some reason from the air it looked right, and when we landed it was absolutely perfect, as I'm sure you'll see for yourselves. So thank you very much to the Alexander family for their brilliant support over the years, and especially to Russell, um, who has been the greatest business partner to have, and uh, as you'll see yourself, doing a fantastic job, making you very welcome. So thank you, and enjoy yourselves. From the entire Alexander family, and everyone here on set, we're thrilled to have you. Your tour starts on a journey through our 1,250 acre working sheep and beef farm. It's these rolling green hills that attracted the location scouts way back in 1998. After the completion of filming The Lord of the Rings in 2000, the set was torn down and Hobbiton was left. It was a little more than a sheep house. So when Peter and his team returned to the Hobbit, we seized the opportunity to partner up it's been an incredible journey, one we're proud to share with you today. Enjoy. Back in 1998, that location scout flew over the farm. He took some aerial photographs. That's when he saw the lake and the tree. So he knocked on the end store, and that's the house on, on the right there on the hill. He got permission to uh, eventually go down onto the farm, as long as he shut the gates behind him. He really wanted Ian to escort him through his farm that day, but it was a Sunday afternoon, and we know that because Ian was inside watching a game of rugby on TV. And he wasn't a very happy, happy man. At the time, his team got beaten, so he didn't want to go anywhere. Now the scout spent two or three hours down here and took lots of photos. When he showed those photos to Peter Jackson, Peter flew over the farm as well. And he fell in love with the place. Two particular scenes. So you might remember this one moment when Bilbo wakes up one morning and then decides that he wants to go on the adventure. He has his contract in his hands, he runs all the way through Hobbiton, he jumps the fence right over there, runs further over there and he runs right through there and he yells out, I'm going on an adventure! Exactly. And off he goes. You guys remember that? Yeah. Yes. Just smile away. Yeah. <laughs> and now you might also remember this little clip you've just seen on the bus. It's Gandalf and Frodo having a ride together on the horse cart. The car's right through there. The first time we see Hobbiton in the Fellowship of the Ring. Now um, they seem to sit next to each other, but for a fact, they're actually sitting three meters apart. They're the three meter long horse cart. So what's happening is Frodo, Elijah Woods, is sitting all the way in the back of the car, making him look small. Gandalf, Ian McKellen, is sitting all the way in front of the car, making him look big. So this trick we call it forced perspective, and it was really important to make those things work. It's between you and me, okay? No one else has to know. If you ever looked just on top of the hill, above Bag End, this tree, fake as can be. Whoa. Absolutely nothing real about this tree. It does look quite good, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. So, um, yeah, why do I point out this tree now? Because from now on, it is going to look a bit less real. It's probably as good as it's ever going to get. Now, I'm also those doors over here are the only doors that are 100% scaled. They're basically all hobbits now. How does that feel? Not too bad, is it? Now, you guys, this field we've just been walking over is known as the party field. And that is where they did celebrate the.
five minutes. Three goes to work for the